Hey everyone, welcome back to the bench and to this special week's episode of the next big build at BTM Scale Modeling. Um, as you can tell from the beginning of the, sh the show, I've got some great kits. I've had some, especially I've had one for a few years and the, a couple at least for a few years and then I got some other ones because like I said when I took some money out of my 401k to help my wife's sewing business get going, uh, I decided, heck, I need to get me a little few things. So, with that guys, see if you can guess what the next bill is going to be from listening to this. Are you insane? I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to be building the Polar Lights 1350 scale Enterprise Refit. Now I've had this kit in my stash for a couple of three years. My family got it for me for one Christmas and I actually did start building as you'll see. I started doing some things and then I just got intimidated because one, I just really started getting back into building models, just first started learning how to light things and all that in the painting. Um, so I'm going to finish this project. One, I need to. Two, my daughter at uh, Destiny who's at AIT at Fort Sam Houston goes, Dad, are you ever going to build this ship? We got this for you so long ago. Why haven't you got it done yet? Well, I'm going to do it. And... Um, I'm pretty good because you know I'm a medical retiree now. Um, I'm hoping to get this done in a couple of three months. Um, I'm going to take my time with it, but I've got a lot of cool things to go with it. So with that, guys, let's see what I'm going to be uh, using on this ship. All right, so here is the humongous box. Like I said, it's the Polar Lights um, One Three Fifty in refit of the Enterprise. So. And there it is, guys. Um, as you can tell, she is a pretty good sized ship, um, which is fine with me. But like I said, I started work on this and I um, was watching build videos. And like I said, I started work on it, I got this ready to do the lighting, and I also started doing the color block. But now I'm going to go in and I'm going to sand this down so I can do the re. Re, re lift lighting, however you say that again, but yeah, lots of pieces. And so there's that. Now, give me just a second and I'll show you what I'm gonna be using with it. Okay, first things first the painting mask. Like I said, when I first got this kit, I went through and I got the painting mask. So these are again by Aztec Dummy, and I've had these for a few years. But the great thing is, I've never actually pulled any off so. They're still going to be nice and usable. Um, so, yay. But I also went and got what he just did this last year. is his pattern enhancer. Sorry, try to keep it in camera. Is I'm going to use his pattern enhancers. Now, what that's going to allow me to do, because you know there's five paint styles to um, the Enterprise. But I'm going to, you know, one, I'm going to paint the way I, I really want to. I'm going to try to stay close to it as I can, but two, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try these. These are color shift paints by Vallejo, and I'm going to give those a shot. So, yay! So that will help me give those different color schemes um, when the light hits it different, so see all that. Also, uh, I have the Photo Etch when I, when I got this kit the first time. Now I do have to do some cleaning because a little moisture got in there but that's okay. Got that. Then I went and I got um, a supplementary set for helping doing the cargo bays and in the shuttle bay. So with that I also bought from HDA Model Works his decals to go with that for not only the shuttle but the uh, um, crew Rec room. Sorry, I don't know quite on the name. I'm probably, I do, but I haven't got there. Yet. So I have this, so I can use his decals with this, some of these. So yay! And also, so yes, I have the mega board from Tenet Controls. I'm really looking forward. It's going to do a lot of things. He's got different sequences already programmed into it that you can do, and then um, it has phasers and photons. The works, guys. This is the board. So, I'm looking forward to getting doing that. Um, one of the first things I did was rewash the kit. And now what I need to do is go in and sand down the primer 
um, and mask off where I'm going to do the Rayleth lighting. And then get the saucer and get all the parts paint uh, light blocked really well. Then get started into getting things done. So guys, hope you're going to enjoy this journey as much as I am. And I look forward to it. So I'll see you on the bench.